Let's now get to your traffic update of one of the country's longest and busiest routes, the N3 freeway. Traffic volumes, we do understand, are starting to come down as there's currently a free flow of traffic and no reported incidents. We're now joined by Tanya Dugra, Operations Manager at N3 Toll Concession. Tanya, a very good evening to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Welcome to The Full View. Hi, good evening, Spirit, and good evening to your viewers. How is it looking like on the N3, considering that KZN is one of the favourite holiday destinations? Well, traffic on the N3 has been fairly busy over the last couple of days, including today, where we had volumes in excess of 1,100 vehicles an hour for most of the day. Uh, unfortunately, though, we have had a, a serious incident that occurred earlier today, um, just after 5 o'clock this afternoon. Um, in the vicinity of the Bulge Toll Plaza, just north of the plaza, and the roadway is currently closed to all traffic. But it is but traffic both north and southbound are being diverted around the incident through Villiers. Do you want to take us through what happened there and uh, if there are no uh, you know, eventualities perhaps? Unfortunately, I don't have any information from the scene as yet. Um, they're still waiting on some of the services to arrive there and obviously attending to the injured people on scene. Are there emergency services along the N3 you know, to take care of any eventualities should they arise? Yes, uh, emergency services, N3TC's own route patrol services, as well as law, as law enforcement services are fully deployed and on the entirety of the N3 toll route. And they're in full force doing driver and vehicle checks. So motorists are advised to please obey all the rules of the road in particular and make sure that they drive safely and share the road responsibly. Has the unfavorable weather conditions have had any impact on the traffic flow? Um, no, fortunately, the traffic has flowed fairly well, and I think motorists, on the, for the most part, are being, you know, the rules. They're uh, slowing down, increasing their following distances, and ensuring that they have their headlights on, which is what we encourage them to do in inclement weather conditions. But um, yes, for the most part, there's been free-flowing traffic on the entirety of the route. So from your observations, have you experienced or seen an increase of traffic going into KZN or out of KZN? For the most part, the higher volume of traffic is heading uh, southbound into KZN. We have seen an increase of traffic flowing Johannesburg bound as well, but not as high as that going into KZN. Have you had any communication perhaps with the uh, traffic law enforcement, uh, I mean traffic law enforcers with regards to any arrests being made uh, by uh, those, uh, those traffic transgressors? No, unfortunately, I haven't had any of those statistics. I'm aware that they are doing those compliance checks all along the route, but that the information about the arrests, etc., have not been shared with us. And how many vehicles have you recorded since the start of uh, you know the, the the festive season going into KZN along the N3? We haven't actually uh, considered all of the statistics, uh, you know, con um, on a cumulative basis as yet. Uh, it's still early days. What we are observing right now is more um, the volumes per hour as well as, you know, comparing those to trends just so that we can help to better inform our forecast. Um, at this point in time, for example, our forecasts are indicating that we will have an increase in traffic again from the middle of next week heading into the Christmas weekend. All right, uh, Tanya, great chatting to you. Thank you so much for that update. Thanks. You're welcome. Have a good evening. Thank you. You too. That was the N3 Toll Concession Operations Manager, Tanya Dugra.